In this video, I'm gonna teach you everything there is to know about selling shoes on eBay. So all of these tubs along here are pre-owned shoes that I've currently got active in my eBay store. There's probably about 250 to 300 shoes. Just here is the first of six sales that I had from over the weekend. These are the Ciccone Omni 16 men's running shoes. Uh, they're quite a, a large size, size 13. We got a $40 sale price for those. This is another really good brand as well. The brand's Keen. Um, these are some women's hiking sandals. Uh, they're technically a hiking shoe brand, but uh, we ended up getting a $25 sale price for those. Next up are the Nike Air Max 97. These are in basically like new condition, hardly been worn, and we got a $55 sale price plus $20 worth of shipping off to the USA. I also sold these Nike TN Air Max Plus casual shoes. They ended up selling for $60. Even though there was definitely some wear on them, we were still able to get a really good sale price. Anything Kobe Bryant always does well. These are the Kobe's that I picked up in a thrift store for about $10, and we ended up getting a $65 sale price on those. But the best shoe from over the weekend were these. These are the Hoka Bondi 8s. I paid $20 in a thrift store, and we ended up getting $130 worth of a sale price. So that worked out to $375 worth of sales over just this weekend period alone. Over the last three years of selling on eBay, I've sold well over $50,000 worth of pre-owned shoes on eBay. And I don't say that to brag, there's a whole lot more people out there doing more than me. However, I do wanna state it because it does show the significance of how much you can sell in this category. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you exactly what shoes sell best. I'm gonna show you how to list up these items to actually get them to go on to sell. And I'm also gonna show you how to ship them off safely so that your buyer receives them in best condition. Let's do it. If I had to pick four different types of shoes for you to focus on as a beginner shoe seller, I would say number one to focus on running shoes. I would also say football boots do incredibly well as well. So look for the major brands in these two categories like Nike, Adidas, New Balance, Asics. Um, all of them do really, really well. Hiking shoes. Hiking shoes like Keen and Merrill. Uh, do incredibly well as well. And then cowboy boots, Western style boots, they have done really well for me in recent years. Uh, even Doc Martens, as an example of a boot, um, you know, turns around some significant money as well. Some things to consider when you are buying these shoes, if you're seeing a football boot or a pair of running shoes, make sure the condition is good. Condition will literally fluctuate price more than anything else. You want to make sure that they're in almost like new condition, maybe a little bit of pre-owned wear. Uh, no fabric uh, tears, you don't want any holes. Size bigger is better. I always like to find shoes between a size 10 to a size 12, um, but obviously the lower you go, the less in sale price will, you'll get. Uh, insoles as well is very important. I'm always looking for shoes that do have their insoles. It's always just a trickier sell uh, and a slower sell through when they don't. And is the shoe profitable? Is the shoe that you're seeing at a flea market, a garage sale or a thrift store priced at a point that you can actually go on to sell it for a profit? So I'm going to use the Hokers as an example here. Um, you've already seen them go on to sell and this is how I went about the process of purchasing them. I go onto the eBay app and I type in Hoka Bondi 8 and then from there we get a list of shoes but I actually use the filter sold option which you can see there. Filter sold, that brings up a history of all of the different shoes that are Bondi 8s with a price point. I then go even further and I swap it to a pre-owned condition. Um, so I just go up to the top of the search bar I click on condition and then I click pre-owned. And this will give us a full list of used shoes and exact match of the Bondi 8s. And as you can see here, there's a shoe selling for $168. And then if we scan down the list, you can see there's a bunch of shoes anywhere priced between $100 and $150. So right there off that little check in store before I even go ahead and purchase, I can see that this shoe is actually worth about $125. So my next step is I put it into the e-profit calculator. I put in a $130 sold price, a $20 in-store purchase, and as you can see there, this shoe is gonna net me an $83 profit. So when it comes to selling anything on eBay, presentation is so important, and I use two really, really important pieces to make sure that my photos are presented in the best possible way, and the first one here is these box lights. They just bring off a really nice bright white light that shows up fantastically in my photos on eBay. So uh, link in the description for these, I think they only cost me about $85, something like that. Um, but they've worked super, super well for me over the past three years and they're the best investment that I've ever made for my eBay business. When it comes to selling shoes, I also use these, which are some shoe trees. Um, I do have these linked in the description below for the ones that I use. Um, just a really nice, easy shoe tree that you slide into these shoes uh, and it just, I guess, fills them out. So they present nicely in photos. But between that 
a trestle table that I picked up for free off Facebook Marketplace, a bit of a white background, some box lights, you are set to go to start listing up your shoes. Now, I figured it'd be best to go through these hokers because they were the quickest sell-through rate of just six days and we also got $130 for them. So the listing that I used to get this uh, sale this weekend is what I wanna take you through from a, a listing um, process. So if we go into it here and have a look on the computer, I've actually used 11 photos. There's 11 out of a total of 24 photos. I do recommend that you use as many and take as many as you possibly can. This is always my hero image and this is what the customers will see before they click on the listing. So you wanna make sure you get a really good cover photo. Um, and this is the shot that I will always use. The toe is always pointing to the left-hand side and that is mirrored then on all of my shoes when you go into my store, you'll see that the toe always points to the left. Um, so that's a really important first step. Um, then I take a photo of the backside of the shoe, as you can see there. And then I take it on a slight 45 degree angle and feel free to copy this photo method because I do it for every single one of my shoes and they always work well. Um, then I take a top down shot from the front. I could have definitely uh, maybe put these through the washing machine. As you can see there, these have got a little scuff mark that I could have definitely tried to clean off. Uh, again, going back to that presentation element. Um, then I take it over and I show, you, I show you this side of the shoe here, which is the inner side that you haven't yet seen. And I also just turn over for the other side of the shoe and, and show off the sole for the very first time. Customers are always gonna be looking at the sole to see how much wear is on them. So you really need to be making sure you're taking photos of that. Uh, and then I, and another shot which shows the sole for both. So I'll flip both sides over as you can see there. Uh, and then finally, I, I take a photo of that, which is just basically giving you all the details of the shoe, which is ultimately what, get, what we're gonna actually need um, to go ahead and, and complete our listing. But they are pretty much all of the photos that I'm gonna go ahead and use. There's usually anywhere between eight to 10 photos for a shoe listing. Um, sometimes I'm taking photos of the tongue and things like that. Other times I leave those steps out. Um, but those first core six to eight photos, I do it for every single shoe. Uh, the next thing that is very important is the title. Now, when, when it comes to the title for any listing on eBay, you really wanna be making sure you're front-ending the most, informa uh, most important information first. So Hoka, to me, is the most important feature of this shoe, the brand name. Um, it might be Nike, it might be Adidas, whatever the case may be, Hoka One on One is the first step. From there, it's the model. Now, there's Clifton's, Arahi's, there's so many different types of Hoka's out there. People might be searching for Bondi. Um, it's also a Bondi 8. There could be a Bondi 6 out there, Bondi 7. We really want to stipulate that this is the Hoka One One Bondi 8. So that's what we're going to start off this title with because that's going to be the most likely search term to get our shoe found. Uh, and then from there, I really like to state the gender. So this is a men's running shoe. Um, so Hoka Bondi Bondi uh, One One Bondi 8 men's running shoe. And then I like to state the color and the size. So black. US size 10, and this shoe here is actually a 4E. It says 10 4E, and then on the tongue in the photos, it said X, uh, X wide. So I'm actually putting that into the title as well. US 10 4E X wide. Now that's a total of 63 out of 80 characters. I could definitely try and fill out a few more characters, but that by far is the most important information that you really need to try and stipulate for every single one of your shoes, and I would try and do it in that order as well. You go with the brand, then you go with the model of the shoe, the gender of the shoe, the type of shoe, uh, the color of the shoe, the size of the shoe, and then any special requirements uh, to finish it off. So that's a really, really important structure. Um, the SKU there, uh, I bought these shoes for $20, so I just make a note of that with the custom label SKU. Um, the category, it went into athletic shoes. You really wanna make sure that you're putting them in the right category. Um, that's correct. And then your item specifics after that. So as you can see here, it's an athletic shoe, it's the style is a sneaker. I'm putting in all of the required specifics, which is very, very important. Shoe size is a 10, the color is black, it's a men's shoe and it's Hoka One One. Um, then I put in some optional specifics. I always like to put in here the UK shoe size um, because that's often given to you on the tongue of the shoe. Um, you can quickly see that and jot that in and people do often search for both UK and they also search for Euro sizing down here as well. So I'm putting in the Euro size um, the upper material, synthetic is a very common thing that I'll just whack in there. And then also performance and activity, gym and training, walking, running, those sorts of things people search for as well. And then some easy ones that you can put in too. Features, I always put in comfort. Uh, closure is always a lace up when we're talking about a running shoe. Um, and the pattern is solid. There's nothing else to it. It's just plain black. 
Um, so there's some minor specifics and they do definitely help your search volume. Um, if you're putting in as many of those specifics as you possibly can, uh, you're just standing the opportunity to generate more uh, impressions for your listing, which get clicks, which ultimately get sales. Um, so that is a very important step to put in as many item specifics as possible. Um, the shoes are pre-owned. There's no real condition descriptions um, that I like to put in there. I've just gone ahead and I've put a very basic description in here. These were able to get the, the sale come through. I just said shoes are in excellent condition, uh, wide foot fit, uh, and a men's US size 10. So I'm basically just re-stipulating what you've seen in the photos and the title. They are the two most important elements along with the price. Um, plenty of life left in these. I also like to say the recommended retail price sometimes. Um, these are a $260 pair of shoes. So I listed them up for $130, which is stating that they are half the price if they were brand new. And they are still in great condition. So no wonder these shoes have gone on to sell. So I'd like to put that in the description for a little bit extra detail. And then based on the price was searching out the sold comps that I was seeing on eBay uh, when I ended up buying the shoes in the thrift store, which you guys have already seen. So I knew through taking that photo and screenshotting that I was gonna list these photos up, uh, sorry, this listing up for $129.95. Um, so that's there. Uh, and then from there, I like to make sure that my international postage is set up as, and running as well. And I also do a flat rate uh, postage um, set up too. So basically I'm just putting in the description and the dimensions of what the item is gonna be for postage. And then I always promote my listing at 3%. That is a very, very standard promoted listing rate. And then from there, the item is listed. Now, when it comes to shipping off these shoes, I'm gonna be going ahead and putting them into a flat rate satchel. Now, when it comes to shoes, the best thing about them is they are super durable. You can, you're often not getting these things damaged no matter how poorly they're treated by the postal service. Um, so I always go ahead and just flip them over like this, top and toe and I fold them up into almost like a V shape. And then that V shape is gonna slide in perfectly into the flat rate satchel. I don't put any bubble wrap in there. I don't put them into a box. Uh, like I said, they are just so durable that you can fit them into a small satchel or a medium satchel, depending on the size. Uh, because these are a wide fit and they're a size 10, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put them perfectly into a medium satchel, as you can see there. So they fit in nice and perfectly when you set them into the V shape. Uh, and then from there, Take that off, fold that over, and that shoe is ready to be shipped off. Now I use the Australia Post My Business for uh, shipping shoes off here in Australia. You actually get some really good discounts if you sell some shoes, um, I guess over a large quantity. I think, I'm not 100% sure on what the numbers are, but there's bands one to five. And the more you can work yourself up into the band level five is the greater discount that you're gonna get. Um, so these shoes here should sell for me on a band five discount. I should be able to get them off for about $12 as a medium satchel. Um, I might be able to even get them done a little bit cheaper depending on where they go in Australia. But ultimately when it comes to selling shoes or selling anything on eBay, you wanna try and have yourself set up if you're in Australia with the Australia Post My Business because you can do it from the comfort of your own home. You can build up a bit of savings as I touched on and these shoes can be printed out with a label here at home taken and dropped off at the post office. So a really efficient way of shipping. But the best part about shoes is that's how it's done. There's, there's nothing convoluted to it. When the shoes are really quite large, like a cowboy boot, for instance, I will flat lay them into a box um, just because there isn't a satchel that's big enough. It's not so much from a protective element. It's more the fact that the box is the only thing that can fit the shoe in. Um, if it was a small satchel or a medium satchel, it just wouldn't get the job done. So very, very simple process when it comes to selling your shoes. Obviously shipping them off isn't too hard either. Now, if you'd like any more assistance when it comes to selling shoes on eBay, I offer a one-on-one -on -one mentoring service, basically just a one-on-one -on -one video link up. We can slowly work through the process of getting you set up and selling shoes on eBay or any other product for that matter. Um, it is linked in the description below. I've got availability. I'm more than happy to take a call at any point in time. Um, but fingers crossed you've got some value out of this video and shoes are something that you're going to want to press on and start selling because it is a big, big category. Um, if you need a little bit of assistance around how to clean shoes uh, to get them presented really, really well, along with the box lights and the shoe trees that you saw a little bit earlier, well, I've got this video right here that I made a couple of years back, which still stands to be the best way to clean your shoes, to have them presenting best.